Hey, welcome to Camping with Steve. Time for another Stealther. And I'm in a city, I don't live this time, and we're gonna do it in a pretty obvious spot. So, time to head out into the wind here and find my spot just at the edge of the city behind the sign that welcomes you to the town. There is so much traffic here and I want to sneak in when it's not so suspicious so I'm acting like I'm just filming something about the town. They're gone, let's go. Alright. Okay, uh, this is perfect. This is a stealthy spot if I've ever seen one. Let's, uh, let's get uh, set up here. This is a one in a million stealth camping spot. I can't believe we found this. We actually found it when we went to go to do the camping roulette thing. We're driving past and I said, hey, we're coming back for this. Now, if it's ever called for a step two, that's today, right now, because step one was finding the spot and getting set up here. Shifting up from a little bit of running. I can see not too, too much there. Looking through there, I can see a little bit, a little bit of traffic, but who's gonna be looking behind this sign? This is fantastic. Hmm. The only fly in the ointment could be, there's a farmer's field right there. And I know they have a lot of, uh, they often have dogs that kind of patrol the property and they're not on a leash a lot of the time. So there could be a dog running over here at some point, but we'll deal with that when it shows up. Okay, the traffic's cleared. I'll give you a brief rundown on the gear I brought. I have this uh, inflatable thermarest thing. I don't know why all this lightweight gear is always so brightly colored. It doesn't really work good for stealth camping. And I brought my winter sleeping bag because it's starting to get a little colder. And it's also, unfortunately, colored uh, bright yellow. If I do get bold, there is a little can of campfire. It's uh, like an alcohol gel. It's meant for decorative stuff. It actually crackles a little bit and gives off a nice looking flame. Of course I've got step two and in my backpack I've just got normal uh, normal cooking stuff, some food. I brought, uh, this was a cool find, this little pot. Beautiful wife found this at the dollar store and it was like four bucks uh, and it's perfect size and if it gets broken who cares because it was four dollars and things can get broken when you go camp. So, I'm gonna use, uh, I didn't bring a seat, so I'm just gonna use this sleeping bag as a seat to sit back and assess the situation. I don't wanna pull this bag out yet because it's too bright in color, but I'll get acclimatized here and enjoy my beer, and then I'll get out and wander around a little bit when there's some breaks in traffic. And that's the plan for now. I'm in a new town for this stealther. And I've been here a few times in my life, but never done a stealth camp here. I didn't want to get out too early, so we're about an hour and a half away from the sun setting. Which is perfect, because anybody driving that way, uh, they're the only ones that would have a chance to see me. And they're going to be blinded by the light as they're driving right into the sunset. And people the other way, there's not a chance. I could stand up and walk around back here. They'd never see me. Oh, they don't build... Uh, they don't build little hiding spots like this in the in the bigger cities, I can say that. But out here, oh, it's a it's a gift on a plate. I've moved over to the other wall here because with my back right up against this little corner with all the spiders, there's not a lot that people can see when they're driving past. Well, I've got probably another hour until um, civil twilight ends. Then I can uh, test out just how obvious a flashlight back here is going to be. I'm guessing a little bit too obvious, but I'm also anticipating that traffic on this road is going to slow to a trickle as people get back to their homes and start watching YouTube or something. So, let's play the waiting game and enjoy my step two, and I think everything's going to be alright. Okay, 
Now the traffic has died down a little bit, but oops, not that much. Yeah, that sun's right in their eyes. So it kind of blinds them a little bit, but. just getting a shot of those Canada geese and there was a quad going through the field there and right behind me on the other side is what looks like a bit of a quad trail so I'm gonna pack everything in a little bit closer and I do expect them to go past on the quad so we're gonna wait for that that's where the quad trail is right back there okay, there's the quad Yeah, they're looking already. They are coming around. Great. That is great. Okay, um, they seem to live right there, and I'm sure they saw me. That is not good at all. They 100% saw me, and I don't know what to do. I heard the quad. It putted towards the house and then stopped. So they didn't come around to check on me. And um, they've either decided they'll let me be, or they'll call the authorities, or they'll come back later to shake me out of here with a little firepower, who knows. So, just a little more on edge than I like to be, generally. Also another good uh, idea. Have the, uh, have your phone on silent for these types of stealthers. That's the very first thing I do. This traffic isn't slowing down anytime soon either. It's proving to be a little more of a challenge than I thought it might be, but nothing's impossible. Yeah, this is, uh, well, it's lit up at night. It should uh, take some attention away from me. Oh, another vehicle coming. Slip back into the into the spot. It's getting darker, so that's a good thing. Except then I have to turn my flashlight on to film. Me. But the traffic is slowing down a little bit, so that's a good sign. And you know, it's so weird filming these things because I know I have 360,000 some odd people actually following along with this, but I am so alone when I'm filming these. Like I'm on the side of a <laughs> side of a highway behind a sign in a town I don't live in. No crazy neighbor with me, no beautiful wife with me. <laughs> and uh, I'm just kind of going for it, but uh, anything could go wrong and I have like no backup here other than <laughs> You know, if I do get caught to try and tell someone, well, you know, I'm filming, I'm a photographer, I'm filming some stuff or whatever. I don't know, it's uh, it's just strange as all because I'm going to have a bunch of comments I'm going to try to get to on this video. But right now, there's nobody in the world with me. 
not a single person. I'm just all alone out here behind a sign. Okay, I heard that quad started up again and it's going through the field there. The last thing I need. One of the downsides of doing a stealther on the weekend. Oh, there's people honking their horns and everything. I thought the small town would be peaceful <laughs> beside the highway. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Definitely. There's a quad. There's a lull in traffic. Which also means I can test this thing out. Um, we have a spot to stick it onto. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cool, but I think that might give away a little bit of the stealthing. So we're gonna walk around here and see how that looks from the other side. I'm gonna choke down some uh, porcini mushroom and uh, truffle triangoli behind uh, behind this sign here. I got all the dust out of it. cook some triangoli. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm right behind there and let's go. Right around the side. away. Oh boy. Now we're talking. going to be thrilled that I brought a knife but I didn't bring a fork so I'm gonna to have to eat this with the knife only brought uh, 
rosé sauce, so. Could be worse, I suppose. There we go. Alright. Porcini mushroom and uh, truffle with rosé sauce. Yum. I would do this again. On a scale of one to 10, that meal was delicious. Also, on a scale of one to 10, it's dark enough now to inflate all these neon colored uh, sleeping aids. What on earth is this? Oh. Comes with a bag. That's great. Self inflating, we will see. Given that we're trying to be stealthy. The roads are a little less traveled right now, but okay. I hate to do it, but I'm flipping this sleeping bag inside out so the gray part is on the outside. That is going to give me a little more, a little more stealth, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Less comfortable on the inside, but uh, certainly more stealth. That should do the job. Get rid of this thing because it's. Uh, Way too bright. And, uh, no, I think uh, it's gonna be a great sleep here tonight. Uh, super stealthy and super good. Nobody's came around to check on what's happening. So I think it's time to start a little campfire in a can. Tuck that down over here. This little guy looks like it's gonna work quite good for some ambience here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, doesn't get any better than this. Nobody came around. Uh, people on the quad didn't come around. Police didn't come around. And uh, I'm not going to push my luck too much. I'm going to crawl into this sleeping bag and, uh, yeah, I'll hunker down. This uh, seems to be working out okay. Quite stealthy. Uh, and thank you to everybody who has donated to a step two. Um, the beer donation fund. Uh, you guys have made a lot of this possible, so I'll leave it at that. And thank you so much. I'm just gonna keep hunkering down beside the highway. And uh, I love you all. Good night, guys. Right, that worked. Uh, it was a little bit chilly, but that's mostly because I didn't adjust the loft in the sleeping bag. 
Uh, there's parts of it where it was just basically the, the polyester right up against me. So that's one thing you wanna wanna definitely try and uh, do before you <laughs> go camping is uh, spread your sleeping bag out and adjust all the fluff. And yeah, I'm I'm right here in the sun, and uh, yeah, there's highways there. I'm feeling a little bit exposed here, but I think it feels worse than it actually is. Um, I'm gonna throw my shoes on and kind of walk around on the outside of this thing and see what in fact it looks like with uh, just this little pile of gear here. And hopefully I haven't been uh, making it way too obvious uh, for the last hour that the sun's been up. Okay, let's look. Uh -huh. So obviously for the traffic that comes this way, um, they wouldn't have seen anything. And if I come around this side, I could have actually uh, probably shimmied under this uh, shrub too. Would have been an interesting way to do it. But uh, the traffic that comes this way down this side would have had the view of uh, the view of camping with Steve in real life. And uh, yeah. It looks like uh, <clears throat> if people were really looking, they probably could have seen something because of all the uh, all the dieback on this uh, blue spruce here. But considering that, I guess uh, everybody's at church right now, there's not a lot of traffic here. So I gotta pack up and uh, get out of here a little bit uh, a little bit quick, and I'll go. Uh, I'll go down and meet beautiful wife who is with me on this adventure but has chosen to stay at the hotel instead of camping behind a sign on the highway and they have free breakfast there so that's what I'm making for breakfast let's get this all packed up I've never seen anything like that in my life. The bag is twice the size of the rolled up sleeping pad. Okay. All right then. All packed up and ready to get out of here. I really wanted to sleep in this morning until I remembered where I was and what I was doing. So, I'm gonna have a delicious uh, mouth-watering water and get back to the hotel and enjoy a complimentary uh, continental breakfast. Yeah, that's how you know it's good. It's continental. Mmm, orange and a bagel. One to two kilometers, around a mile to go till I get to the hotel. So, if you find these videos watchable, please consider subscribing. Uh, it's free to subscribe for a limited time only. Just kidding, it's always free to subscribe. But, uh, yeah, it was a fun little adventure. And uh, I got a few good other stealth ones that I want to do before the snow flies because this is the golden time of year to do a stealth video. It's uh, not too hot, not too cold. Mosquitoes are all gone away. And there's still some leaves on the trees for cover if I'm trying to hide from uh, prying eyes. So we will see you guys next week. And thanks for tagging along on this adventure of camping behind a sign in some town. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. <laughs>